Morning everybody, I'm Shangi. Today <coughs> we're getting on with all this block weight, third lift. I hope you've all had a good weekend. I have. We went the uh, watch the F1 at the weekend. We only went for the qualifying. Um, but what a what a good experience. Um, so this morning I'm gonna get on with all this work here. I'm gonna set up profiles in each corner. I'm not gonna corner up this morning. I'm gonna try it a different way. I'm gonna do all so profile there, profile there. I'm going to use a three-way timber clamp on each one. Profile in the back two corners. And then I'm going to wrap. I think I'm going to see how far my spot boards go. And I'm going to wrap um, all this work. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chuck out every, every board I've got. Put a bucket of mortar on each. And then see how far it gets me. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I put... What's it on me? Spots over the weekend, some some acid, because it was starting getting a bit caked up. So we'll see what they are like as well. But for now, I'm gonna start getting this set up, and then I'll come back to you in a bit. Okay, so I uh, abandoned that idea. Okay, so I abandoned the idea of profiles. I started setting them up, and uh, I put one up over there. And then by the time I'd done that, Christ, I thought I could be laying blocks instead of instead of messing about. So profiles on block work. I I knew this before. It's never it's never the quickest way unless there's loads of you running around. Like if you've got quite a few brit layers who are hitting all the sides, then yeah, the profiles are the way then because your string goes up. You got a brit layer on each each side. Job done. I mean, it's only half past ten, and we've got in uh, got in this side nearly. I mean, I'm only going up eight. It's a bit windy. I will go up nine. I'll put the last course on after, but um, I've only gone up eight for now. And what I've done this time uh, on this plot, after the other plot, I uh, bonded it a little bit differently because uh, it worked better. I've, what I've done, I've bonded it from the window, so as I work out four block, four block, and all it's meant is I've had to put a three quarter in there, but it's only nine cuts and block cut it, I cut it in a second. So, it, it's, uh, it looks nicer here. It works better, so as I haven't got a funny cuts in my pillar, it just looks looks better and feels better all round. So that's what I've done. Um, I want to talk a little bit about money because somebody put a comment on and said, uh, talk about money, don't talk about the simple tasks and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll have a bit of money talk, shall we? And this isn't... Um, as someone put greedy brickies, you know, if the money's there, I see it like this, right? If the money's there in front of you, would you call Alan Sugar greedy? Would you call Richard Branson greedy? Anyone who's made any money, what do they do? Just they think, oh, I've got enough, I'm not going to bother with it anymore. Well, that's not how I operate. I don't operate on uh, a basis of where I think, oh, you know what, I've laid enough today i'm gonna to go home laid enough blocks today that'll do me that is how i work i work to hours i get my hours in do enough so as i'm not getting in too late at, at night so as the missus is there uh, like oh what you do is work i don't work weekends only on my own property um i do my hours every day at least seven till four i have a break run out of blocky it um i do get here sometimes before seven but i'm never lame before seven you know I'm never lame before seven at all um so say i get 41 and a half hours 41 and a half hours a weekend work time because I only work till three on a Friday seven till three um, 
money wise. Well, I'll tell you what, this time last year we were on five, 25,000 and 15 pound on the block. This exact time last year. So, from then to now, the prices in Brit Lane have gone up. Uh, Brit work has gone up 24%. I mean, I've moved around. I, I was on Lenches last year. Now I'm at Cav Park. Um, Lenches prices have gone up as well. But uh, I'm on. These prices are just going up to six fifty a thousand uh, for brickwork. So that's twenty four percent rise from last year on brickwork alone. That basically means that my tax is covered this year, and it's a uh, block which has gone from fifteen pound a meter to seventeen pound a meter. So seventeen blocks, uh, ten blocks is seventeen quid. Um, that's gone up 13.34% from last year. So combined, 24 and 13, 30, 37, 37.5%. So 37.5% rise. Well, it's not. The whole thing together is 37.5%. But like Brickwork's 24%. Let's just say that. Um, Brickwork's 24%. Blockwork's 13.5%. Like I say, not paying tax this year. If I, if I just do the same amount as I did last year, my tax bill's covered. That's how much Brit Lane money is going up at the minute. And compared to other trades, joiners, joiners are getting 300 quid to put a floor in like this. Uh, that's taking two joiners three quarters of the day. One joiner, full day, for one of these little square plots. Brickwork. You can get about 800 in, no problem. Every day, no problem. So you can work out the maths on that. Um, but the way to make your money is just to be fluent. Pre-plan, think about what's next, always be on the think about what's next. Booking in your scaffolds, getting your lifts done properly to the right height. Discuss with your scaffolders where you want the scaffolds. I know that a lot of the scaffolding, they do it five foot lifts on this job. Um, a lot of places they do different heights. You can make more money just by organizing yourself. Uh, better like here things that make me more money are the ready mix making sure that my bays are empty and I've got two tubs on the bay at night every night regardless everything else comes off so I've got mortar to use in the morning straight away there's no waiting it's just straight straight lane no messing about um, Doing block weight like this, making sure that I've got minimal cuts, minimal waste. When I started this this morning, I'd go around and just pull the 4B1 off, off where I've done my brick work, sweep it into the gaps, and then literally little little clean off of my trays inside, and I'm ready to go again. Like down these sides, I've got 4B1 just into the corners where I've built my corners to save the trays. Um, Jointing twice instead of once like this. I've jointed, got to there, jointed it before it goes too hard, where it'll take me longer. Uh, if I, in, instead of if I just built it to the top, you know. The money in Brit Lane at the minute is frightening. Let's put it that way. It's never been so good. Um, people are say people are saying at the minute that it's going to crash and uh, the bottom's going to fall out. The money. We'll all be back on. Uh, Low wages again, but I don't believe that's true because the simple reason is there isn't the brick layers out there to accommodate for all the houses that they want building. And when scarcity comes, 
cost rarity scarcity you get of course so scarcity of bricklayers out there it's not a commodity anymore to get decent brickies to build your job so the money's gone right up which is well that's me cut didn't look did I but this is how long it takes for the cut see for what it's worth That's it, and it's a clean cut. Job done, and they're all just over 100 mil pieces now. Ready to uh, go in for the other corners. Got loads of them now. Eight or nine. They always work in. I'm very tempted to get this ninth on. I might get the ninth on now. It's a bit blustery at school coming through this way. I don't know. I may just set up another corner there before dinner. Over that side. And uh, have some dinner. Yes. I've... So that that's that's me talk on money anyway. Uh, just to say that you know there's always things that can earn you more money. But it's not being greedy, staying. It's called being sensible because when it rains, you don't get no work. When it's too cold, you can't work. Sometimes when it's too hot, people can't work because they just can't handle it. Too windy, you can't work. Well, you can, but you're very limited on what you can do. So, you know, it's a seasonal game. When it's sunny like this, you get as much in as you can. Make sure you do your hours. Don't go out on a Sunday night or a Sunday afternoon and get rat horsed. Production will go way down. I mean, it's totally up to you, isn't it? But that's not the way I want to go. Uh, and I don't do that anymore. I used to go out Sundays with the lads to play football. Don't do that anymore. Because you've got to get the money in. Simple as that. You want to be a provider or a bit of a joke. Preference, personal preference. And there we go. Beautiful. I'll go behind in a minute and drink the back of this. I could leave it at this height, to be fair, to give me more of a more of a full day on me. Because when I do my fourth lift, though above this, it takes me a day and a day in the morning to get it done. So if I had two courses of black to put on, I'd probably fill my day up a little bit more, so I don't have to move again. I could do that. I don't know. Right, everyone's back off the bruce, so there's still sores and everything kicked in. Um, I think I'm going to join this and have an early brew and then I'll come back to you when everyone's on their break at dinner time, one o'clock. Right, well it's come to the last bit of the day now. It's 20 to 4. I'm just getting this little last course run in a block. Um, I'll show you in a minute how much I've got done. You have a guess now uh, what you reckon I've got done the count, and we'll do the count after. Uh, like I say, it's 20 to 4. I'm literally getting this course finished and then uh, jointing up, wash all my boards off, which I haven't used all my boards today, so. It won't take me that long to wash them off. It's been a, quite a warm day. I had to change my strategy earlier because um, it started getting really windy, really windy. And I was I was coming across the front of the house and it was just starting to grab the block work. I could see the wind, uh, the line blowing. I just thought, oh no. So <laughs> I backed off on that. I got, I got, Eight courses up there. Nice. 
stopped. Um, we did do a bit of a count up to preload this drop up. But it looks like I'm going to be just shy. I mean, not a lot. I've just asked the driver get me some fresh blocks up. Ozzy can chuck them out in the morning. Guess how much mortar I've used as well for the amount of blocks that I've laid. I'll tell you in a minute. We'll go and have a look at everything. Have a look what's left in the mortar. I asked for a metre and a half on Friday and seven tubs have come instead of six. Must have uh, just wanted to offload whatever he had in his, um, in his wagon. Feeling generous, give us a little bit more. Yeah, here's my last couple of blocks now. Finishes with a half. I'll tell you what, everything works perfect. All the heights of the uh, window form is a perfect spot on. All my trays are clean. Yeah, they're, they're clean considering I'm laying. That wall's gone off behind me, it's like bowing hard now, already. It's just everything's been sucked out of it, the life's been sucked out of it. Just been plodding on today, I had a dinner time, I had ham cheese, ham and cheese, salad, sandwiches. These formers were broken down there, so rather than just Pass it up, still use it. Just after, there she is. Salt to the right one. Pop it in there. And perhaps, perhaps uh, use a clamp, I think, just to hold it in place. And then once the block's up against it, it'll uh, steady the ship. And now I've got a clamp over here. Clamp this on. Waste not, want not, as it were. See if we can just get this to hold somewhere there. And like I say, once I've got a couple of blocks on, get a window clip in it, it'll be grand. That should be at half, really. Yeah, spot on. Get it half cut now. And then uh, that's the score to <sighs> tell you what though, without a block, without a block splitter, just uh, make things so much harder. Anyone who's out there, any brickies who are out there. Let us know in the comments, have you got yourself a block splitter yet? And if not, why not? If it's just down to sheer cost, go and get a second hand one. Um, when I first got this, it was amazing just how much mess it saves, how much time it saves. That's squared up lovely now. May as well. Th oh. To throw these bricks in as well, just while I'm here. I like to get the bricks in first, but you can't really do it when you've got the when you're cornering up and you need formers. Grab some of these spares from over here. Such bad shapes these are. Up, down, up, down. I just, with these, I tend to just squeeze them right down, regardless. And then when you put your top one in, you can level that one. 
worse than that, bloody wedgies, man. But yeah, I've, uh, I hope everyone else out there has had a good day today. I know I've had a good day. What I tend to do is, these third and fourth lifts, I don't tend to count up what I've done. I know that they're roughly, the third lift will take me four days. The fourth lift will take me two days, or less less than two days. And, the, and this third, third lift actually, this, third, this, this lift on here actually takes me a little bit more than four days. So what I do is I just put him, I just uh, divide it all into six. Two days for up there, four days for down here, and then I just add the money up for both lifts. And then like today's just worth one sixth of the cost. That's for you, for you lads who are booking in if you're unsure of what to book out the third and fourth. Just see how long it takes you to do your first house and then see how long it takes you to do your fourth lift, your third lift, and then fourth and do that. Like because you always end up booking into two lifts. How they do it. Up to there is the third lift. For you who don't know. When you get your price sheet, your third lift is there, windowsills. Fourth lift is up to wall plate. How many bricks do I need? Two and a half. Uh, so you always have to book into one of the lifts, the fourth lift, and that's how you do it. Divide it into six. Well, how um, many days? It takes you seven days. Do it into seven. And then every day you spend on it, you know how much for book in then. And then you roughly know how much it's going to give you per day. Solid working, regardless of the count. See, they only just sneak under there. That was a bit of a fat in that one. There we go. Right. I'll get this all jointed up. Then we can go and have a look at how much rip block weight we've actually got in. Put your guesses in now. So this is what I managed to get done. This back wall to start with. Then I went down this front, got that in to there. Got windy, so I didn't put the, the eighth on. Uh, then I went and did this corner down the bottom end and run four courses through the back. So what was your guess? Uh, the count was 338 blocks and 40, nearly 40 common brick. And that's what we got done, that's solo. Uh, it's nearly four o'clock. All I've got to do is wash my spots up and my tools. So yeah, I'm just going to wash one, two, three, four, four, five wash five spots my tools and i'm gone so if you've enjoyed today's video i'm going to keep the camera still if you've enjoyed today's video give us a thumbs up if you're not subscribed subscribe um doesn't take a second to hit that notification bell and i'll you'll always be reminded every time i upload a video sun's out i'm gonna get home play with litlin play with the messies you know how it goes see you later